Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Design Centric Sim City. My name is Strict Toaster and we're back at Triplet Towers where we have this awesome alien looking layout and uh, I'm gonna proceed right away to uh, continue the development in this corner and finally plop the third remaining mega tower. Uh, let's see, what, how, how are we doing this exactly? Because I can't remember. Uh, we might not be able to curve things up a bit here so much. I was just thinking about that because, you know, the game hates me. Uh, let's continue. Uh, hold shift. There we go. It doesn't want to uh, intersect there, unfortunately, which uh, could be an issue, but uh, we can bring this down just a little bit and maybe do something like this. Actually, that might work. All right, so uh, what I want to do next is um, maybe profile this diagonals up to there. That's uh, that's quite a right. So this is where our curve will occur. Let's uh, get rid of you if we can. There we go. It was just there was a dip there for some reason. There we go. All right. So let's go one, two, one. Uh, maybe up to here. That should be enough. Mm, even though these two are very close to each other. But uh, yeah, this is this is what happens when when the rows don't align properly. You get weird stuff like this. Uh, what we can do here is basically nothing. Just keep it as it is. Uh, actually, wait, no, we might be able to figure something out because if we start from here, maybe we can have a nicer curve in those. It's not going to be centered. I mean, I'm sorry, it's going to be centered, but this is going to be a wider road. But I mean, if you look at it from here, like you can barely even notice the difference. So it's only going to be in your mind, but don't let your mind control your life. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. So, uh, here. We want this to be the road. Okay, so we need to bring this back here, bring this up, and bring this up, and get review you and you, and the little tip of you. Connect to you again, and let's go into the mega tower menu. Uh, the wrong mega tower. The game crashed, by the way, between the previous episode and this one, so I hope everything is still in place. Uh, let's get rid of you, and you, and you, and you. So hopefully now we can connect this over here. It's kind of at an angle, but uh, it's it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. It is not a big deal. I uh, I already I can't I, I gave up on those things a long time ago. And when I say a long time ago, I mean a couple of minutes ago when I was recording the previous episode. Uh, because yeah, otherwise you can't do much. But I mean, I look at least it looks it looks okay. I mean, from this angle, it just looks fantastic. So. I have no complaints uh, whatsoever about that. Uh, here, it's gonna be a little tricky because uh, the mountain is in the way. So we will have to be a bit creative when it comes to ending this uh, this road. So I'm thinking maybe you can just curve this part right here. It just end it as a straight line. That might work. And uh, I mean, we can even get rid of this little tips and do the same here as well yeah we did that over there all right so that's good uh, and here yeah same same thing let's see if we can connect this in a straight line and do a bit of a curving situation uh, you might want to continue there we go and clear this out and there we have it these two are uh, straight lines. Problem is that, uh, well, in this case, this street can continue, but in this case, it cannot. So maybe we will round this. I don't know if that look okay. No, it's definitely, it most certainly does not look okay. And uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm like not doing things right here. Hang on, give me one second and we'll get this going. The right way, there we go. Now we're talking, now we're talking. All right, good stuff, good stuff. I'm, I'm liking it uh, thus far. 
Uh, I was thinking this could just go here at an angle like that. Might be... Uh... Oh, we can even do something like that, actually. This will destroy Mega Tower, so... If we do something like that... No, that, that looks awful. I do want a, a diagonal here, I think. Let's extend 336 bucks. I don't know. I never used this units of measurement. 330... 45. All right. It doesn't connect properly, of course. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, and now we can round up these little corners. Hopefully this will look good. We're gonna do mostly high density here in case you, you haven't noticed yet. And uh, we have a bit of a you know, one, two, three, four, let's say five, six, seven, uh, septagon? <laughs> oh man, I suck at geometry. How, how, how good is that? And I'm doing a lot of geometry right now, technically, so. Shouldn't be that bad at it. Uh, let's do 334. That should be all right. Let's extend this here and let's do this. Clean this up. Uh, one, two, and one, two. And yeah, that doesn't look very confident. But that works. Now it's a big stop sign-ish because we still need this, this spot. So actually we can we can indeed continue this here and then back there, which is uh, which is great, actually. So let's give that a shot. Let's do uh, straight line 342. Yeah, that should be okay. And uh, there's no, yeah, we don't have, hmm. Unless we just do this, get some guides going here. This, so this is, where it will happen, I think. I don't like eyeballing this thing though, because I, I, I am not happy with the results after that. Uh, 330, sure. So one, two, one, two, one, two. And we'll see how we end up with things here. Too shabby, not too shabby. Let's see. Connect this to, and there we go. That's actually looking pretty good. I don't know what you guys think, but I'm I'm keeping this. Uh, this this is totally staying as it is. Now, what I want to figure it out is maybe you can curve this guys here to follow the path of these uh, our path. Let's let's take a look real quick. Uh, these is not the right tool. Ah, no, okay, that, that was bad. That was, that was awful. Now I'm screwed because I don't have that guide anymore. God dang it. Uh, hang on one second. Is it this one? Yeah, it is this one. All right. So we need some rail again, again. Let's do uh, this. This and uh, maybe that will work. Let's see. Let's take a look. Round this out. Yeah, that actually works. That works quite all right. So let's uh, let's try that again. Over here. I'm eyeballing all these things, but they look nice so far. So. Uh, we might not get the perfect, you know, density and everything, but it's still, it still, it will still look nice, which is what we're hoping for at the end of the day, right? This is design-centric SimCity, I've, I've been told. I really hope I don't mess this up. All right, and we are missing this one. So many roads! Actually, uh, I was thinking, fact that we have so many roads, can we even have 
like small houses here we can have meet like you know, small houses there i kind of want buildings along like tall like high density buildings alongside this road so you know what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna you know make it properly there we go all right so let's uh we can use guides here shouldn't be a problem using guides I mean, and this could be the curve right here, to be honest. And we, need, we shouldn't need to eyeball anything because it actually matches. Except for this part. And I think it's because of the futurization. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you see, like, this gap here? Come on. What if you hit all you? I don't want to do that, actually. Uh, let's get review, and you, and you, and you. And let's use these guides. Up to there and curve it up. And we still and we get the same glitch, but uh, hopefully that will be fixed as as soon as we convert everything into uh, futurization. If I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that though. Well, we'll see how this develops. Maybe we can come back and fix it. Uh, this is all still, you know pretty much uh, blank canvas at this point so don't worry too too much about it if you if you please uh, let's go into a straight line over there this doesn't look right for some reason that looks better uh, this one is much shorter actually than the others. Oh, yeah, but I'm, I'm looking at the wrong thing here. Hang on. Let's make this right. So we can fit high density here, high density here, high density here, maybe one or two high densities in here. Yeah, this this are obviously not the same size, but it's because of the entrances. But uh, at a glance, they look as if they were. So that's that's what matters at the end of the day, at least to me. So uh, here, let's go into here, here, let's go into, come on, go into here, and now we can curve things up. There we go. This is an interesting shape. This is, you know what? This actually looks like one of those like crop fields uh, in like, in, 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 in the UK where like apparently aliens or even in like Peru or places like that. It's, <laughs> It's actually kind of interesting. Maybe there's a hidden message here. Yeah, kind of like, you know, kind of like Futurama, where that where they have that like the the language, the alien language that you see in the game. I don't know if in the game, in the show, I don't know if you knew that, but it's it's technically is a real language. Like they the, those those symbols actually have meaning. I don't know what they mean, but uh, they they do have meaning. So let's continue this over here. We have so much room to build in here, which is amazing. All right, things are looking good, and uh, I'm I'm happy with the results so far. This is kind of weird though, but uh, not not a whole lot I can do about that, unfortunately. Unless I can just like go into a tunnel or something, which is something that I don't know if I want to do. I mean, let's come from here. Roads overlap. Which roads overlap? What if we do this, actually? This will eventually connect there, and it's completely flat. Hang on, we might be onto something here. Hang on, hold the phone. We might we might be able to get this going, man. Let's extend this over here. And uh, maybe connect to you this way, actually. Uh... What just it needs one more tile. Just one little tile. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Now we are in definitely in business. We can continue this over here. Actually, we want that. There we go. Perfect. And uh, here we're gonna need some clearance. So let's just get rid of that. And uh, we are going to extend you beyond your limits. 
and we're going to bring you up to here maybe and we're gonna curve it like so and there we go all four corners are connected and we have this weird stuff here but uh, maybe we can make it better hang on hang on let's make this better uh, that actually is better I mean, it's a, it's a bit of a hill, but but it definitely looks better. All right, I'll, I'll take that. Give me two of those. Thank you very much. Let's clear this out. And uh, our city is looking pretty good. I wonder if we can connect this, but I don't think we want that to happen. Let's see how how big is this spot right here. Can we fit? Oh yes. All right, the density is absolutely perfect in this town. If I do say so myself, uh, I, I think uh, we're we're on to a good start. Let's get some uh, some foliage happening in here. I'm guessing this will be the, the high tech industrial. So we might, uh, you know, what we haven't done in this season yet is put a university. So maybe this uh, will be a good spot for for that. This could be a good city for for a high tech, uh, you know, development settlement of some kind i don't know uh we can just planting a lot of cacti here and there that it will automatically spawn once we start the simulation like i said in the previous episode uh, let's put a lot of trees here and there and check this out hit one actually hit three and the trees magically appear there we go and now let's pause the game and the city is looking really nice I'm actually really excited about how things are turning. Eventually, if the if the whatever update comes next and you introduce, I think it's update 10. If it introduces one-way streets, we can make this one-way one-way streets, and everything is going to be fantastic. So hopefully that. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, so hopefully that will happen soon. Uh, let's uh, let's think about this university thing. Maybe we can put it in this corner. Let's see, will it fit in there? Is it under education? Uh, yes, it is. So maybe we can have some buildings right here on this side. Let's see. We can have this. I think I want the engineering ones. Oh, no. We want to move it just slightly off to the left so we can put, we can fit a building in there. I think that will be most good. Uh, that should be enough. There we go. All right. So, do we want the dorms first? I think we do. Let's get the dorm dorms first, just for some symmetry. School of law, school of medicine, school of science. Ooh, terrain too steep. Come on, you can you can do this. What about now? School of Science, no. You're a scientist, you cannot figure out how to build in this space a building that can totally fit in there. Man. Let's see, can we do something cool here? Oh no, this is this is the wrong tool. Hang on, we need to be in the but oh you cannot bulldoze this part. You can maybe do an arch like that. And uh, maybe it will look fantastic. Maybe, yeah, we can put some trees in back here. Let's do that real quick. So this is where the students will just come and relax after a really hard day of studying things. I think this should be enough for for this uh, for this town. I mean, the school. Of, uh, w w which ones do we have? We have the engineering and school of business. Oh, I think we want the school of science more than business, to be honest. We'll still make a lot of money, even without the school of business. So, come on, come on, come on. This university only specializes in uh, engineering and science, and, and that's it. Let's take it or leave it. I love how it fits. Just, it's beautiful how it fits. I love it. Uh, I absolutely love it. So, um, what should we do next? Uh, this is going to be, obviously, the industrial area. So, maybe we should start zoning a little bit. Let's just zone some areas here that should be enough why can i zone over over here uh, it's just yeah 
I mean, if I can zone this a little bit, maybe we can have some fillers. So it will look nice. All right, so we have industrial here, which eventually is going to turn into high density and just a couple factories will actually provide jobs for the entire uh, region. So actually, you know what? Let's uh, zone this too. Over here, there we go. So on the other side of the avenue, we want, uh, not here, but uh, all the traffic is going to flow through the entrances of the mega tower. So I think this spots will be good for commercial and the rest will be residential. Like that. Residential, uh, residential, yes. Actually, we can go pretty much all the way here. Like that, like that, like that, and like that, at least for now. You can even go here because it doesn't really matter. I fear like this is probably a lot of commercial and not so much residential. Let's give it a shot. Let's do this here and here and here and here. And uh, this little sides, I mean, yeah, they could be residential too. Why not? I'm probably, I'm probably gonna regret that later or embrace it. So who knows? Who knows? So we have our university, we have everything. Um, let's set up some of the basic services. I'm gonna call it a part of there and we're gonna start the simulation in the next episode because it's gonna be, it's gonna be one hell of a show. So uh, let's put some police here. We're gonna need, oh, we can use the French police station. Um, let's do some government first because we haven't done city hall in a while. And uh, where's the main entrance? Actually, we can align it to one of the mega towers. It'll make more sense. There we go, perfect. And yeah, we can put all the modules this time, which is great. All of the modules and even this one. There we go, that's that's how you do it. Uh, let's assign the, the city hall sign. Oh, this is great, greatest city hall ever. Like seriously, in every direction it looks nice. I don't know what you guys think about that, but I'm, I am happy with this. I am very happy with this. Okay, good stuff. So let's get some of the basic services. Let's get some small police for now. I think people will be very educated here and they're not gonna be, uh, they're not gonna need a lot of uh, police protection. This would be a good spot for my services. This would be a good spot for fire fighters. And uh, this for police, why not? Let's get some jails going first. And uh, let's get some police cars. One, two, three, four. There we go. I added one extra one that I was, I don't think I was allowed to, but uh, it's there. So it's staying. Can I do another add on here? Like a sign? Yes. I, I like signs. So maybe, yeah, I think in the middle should be fine. And the rest, uh, I don't think we're going to need them, even though we have room if you want to. And uh, fire over this on this side. Uh, we're gonna have actually we're gonna need the bigger one because there's gonna be hazmat fires in here and we want to be ready to combat those so yeah unfortunately you can't really fit it in there let's just fit it here let's have all the services in one single spot let's get a couple of these garages two three and one hazmat right yes one hazmat uh helicopter why not the ringing tower the ring ringing tower that's the ringing tower just from now on that's what we're gonna call that ring tower that makes no sense come on man this what what is this this fat this patch tower right yeah this patch tower there we go all right and we need a hospital and uh the hospital might make some sense uh we can do the large hospital because we almost never do that one i mean we did in this season but not in the previous seasons we did not uh maybe this would be a good spot just keep all the services in one spot mm, might not be the greatest idea in the world let's just put it here for now i'm probably gonna change it later you know me you know me 
Uh, patient room's wing. Yeah, it sucks. And I need to like move it a bit to the side just so that we can uh, actually can put it. Yeah, no, let's put it here. So we have room for, for these side extensions. Patient rooms, emergency center, wellness van, and ambulances. One, two, three, four. There we go. Let's put the sign over yonder. And this all stuck up at the top. Surgical center. Can put that one there. I think that should be enough for now. It's a pretty complete hospital. We're already 22 grand in the red. So uh, let's actually kill this top level, apartment level, because uh, we're gonna focus on the mega towers in the next episode. Been a, this this is this is this one has been a bit long, but uh, I think we're off to a good start. In the yeah, we still need to fix this uh, rail connection here, put a bunch of stations, and of course expand the city over to the corners. But uh, so far, I'm happy with the results, and I hope you are too. So if you are please uh, give it a rating. That's very much appreciated. And also, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Trick Toaster, and I really hope that you enjoyed this episode. I want to see you next time. Take care, guys.